Joey? Yeah, well, I love it. I love that they just keep going to the well and keep having a crack every year. You've got to take the risk, and they're doing it. And as, as he said, they've been a victim of their own success for the last 15 years that they can't go to the draft. So they're doing as best they can. I really love it, and I think every year, if you're a Geelong fan, you know you're giving yourself the best chance to win a premiership. Yeah, but it's about winning premierships. That, that's the end point of any conversation we're having tonight. Is about so they're short now of the of the top two or three teams. They play a style that everybody's questioned in terms of is it too slow how they move the football? You call it, it created a t attention they couldn't handle and, and uh, made them nervous with the with ball in hand and any error cost them a goal. So there's a shift need needed to be played out there. They haven't had a top 15 draft pick for for five years, and the one they did have has just walked out the door. So. Something has to shift. In terms of winning it, they've got to be able to leapfrog these other teams now that have clearly gone past them in Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs. But aren't we saying with these premiership windows, you need to be finishing in the top four to give yourself a chance to win a flag? So that's all Geelong are doing. And then on any given day, things might fall their way in a preliminary final or, you know, they may not make those turnovers in a game of football. And, you know, we've got to remember, they were in front in a grand final, in front in prelims. Yeah. So don't they just have to get to the top four and give themselves a chance? Yeah, but they're losing some players now. I guess that's my reservation. Clark goes... Yeah, uh, Kruger goes. Is that another, the Kruger? Yeah, yeah Kruger. another player. Anyway, well, Ford's Darcy gone. Ford is yeah. the other one I was trying to think of. He he leaves. So it, it is in effect in effect getting harder for them yes, right I now. Yes, I agree with that. So you've got, in my opinion, they've got one last chance. Now it might run aground at round twelve next year. It might run. It might take another eighteen months. But you've got to back these guys in. You've got to back in Dangerfield and Hawkins and Selwood and Smith and and all these guys. Blitzarves, who's thirty one in March. Even Jeremy Cameron is twenty nine in April next year. So they've they've rushed forward to give these guys one last opportunity. I love it. I, I secretly love it. If I'm a player yeah. at Geelong that's a mature age player that's shown that I'm capable at the level and that I'm, I'm good enough to, to hold my spot and diligent enough week in, week out to present in the right fashion, then I want that opportunity. They've had the third fewest top 30 selections over the last few uh, four years um, and, and uh, with only six. And I think that the cliff is coming. It's going to be a severe cliff, yeah. and it could yeah. keep them down. You know, Wells is ne even nervous to <laughs> us, I reckon. Yeah. But they're in trouble. I'm excited by Holmes. To Conning, I want to see more of. Stevens, these sorts of guys. I think there'll be a shift. I don't think they're going to aim to win 16 or 17 home and away games next year. I think they're going to push some youngsters in. That'll come at a cost in terms of winning, winning games because you'll have a greater error rate. But that's exciting. I don't think uh, Cat fans are too concerned about the direction no. of their club. It's the last dance, yeah. once again. But we've been saying it for the last, for the last <laughs> Oh, he is. Hey, you touched on Mark Blitzhaus. He was an All-Australian 40 regular. I know he still has high best and fairest finishes, but he plays a bit in the ruck, a bit on the wing, a bit at fullback. As you say, if they can settle him down to fullback there with Segler coming in, you'd want him to be an All-Australian next year. And just on Tyson Stengel, he will be secured as a delisted free agent. He can kick 40 goals. He could be the, the value recruit of the year for the Geelong Footy Club.